Hello, sweet hearts, and this is me again, my sticker girl. Welcome back to another episode of Crash Baking on You World Tour. And for today's sweet heart, we're going to make an English dessert that is made from bananas, cream, and a thick caramel sauce. Combine either in a buttery biscuit base or one made from crumbled biscuits and butter. A classic and tempting vanity pie. The word vanity is a portmanteau or blend of a two words which is banana and toast. This dessert is originated in United Kingdom in 1972. Who could resist this simple, no-bake, easy and indulgent recipe? So please keep on watching Sweet and Heart and feel the vanity shape hold of your life with the best ever vanity pie recipe. Are you ready to travel the world, sweetheart? How about you join me and let's satisfy your cravings with the world's best dessert? All here in Crash Baking on You World Tour. This classic British dessert is super easy to make and it's totally addicting. Let's start with the base. First, crush your desired crackers using a food processor. I am using here a lot of biscuit speculus and then add the brown sugar. Then mix until it is well combined. When it's well crushed, pour in the melted butter, then mix until well distributed. Then make sure to pass a spatula on the sides of the food processor to assure that all the ingredients are properly mixing. If you don't have a food processor, you can mix this using a large bowl and a spatula. Then transfer the mixture into your preferred pie dish and use a measuring cup or a flat bottom glass to press down. In this video, you will see that I am using a 20cm spring corn pan and a metal steak hammer to press the mixture. Then bake it in the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for about 5 to 8 minutes. Then make sure to let it cool down and set aside. It is now time to add this homemade dulce de leche. You can check out my other vlog on how to make this easy, creamy dulce de leche at your home. We have to transfer this dulce de leche in a bowl and slightly mix it to achieve that even texture. Pour dulce de leche into the cold baked pie shell and spread to cover the bottom. Make sure that you have added it evenly into your crust. Then chill the pie in the refrigerator for at least 10 minutes to make it set. Then peel off 3 bananas, then slice it evenly. Then fill the pie with the sliced bananas.
Then add the cold heavy cream, icing sugar, and vanilla to a bowl and whip until soft cakes form. Pile the whipped cream on top of the pie and sprinkle over any desired toppings. Make sure that bananas are completely covered in the filling to stop them from turning brown. You can stay the cream flat just like this or top just like what I'm doing right now. I'm just giving a little bit more of texture and volume on the pie. Again, if you make sure to cover all the cut bananas with some of the cream, the Banafi pie can be made and refrigerated several hours before serving. But if you do not cover the cut bananas completely with cream, you will need to serve the Banafi pie right away as the cut bananas will start to brown. You can dust the top of the pie with cocoa powder. As for I am doing now, I am adding some shade chocolate. With this rich and very decadent recipe, I am very sure that no one will say no when you have passed it around the table. And there you have it, sweetheart, a perfect way indeed to combine bananas into your dessert. So I hope that you tried this very easy and no-bake banafi pie recipe, sweetheart. And thank you once again for watching. This is me, my secret girl, saying as long as you know how to bake, life is sure to be sweet because life is what you make of it. And always remember, sweetheart, hand in hand, let's make the world a better place. I really hope to see you on the next episode of Crash Baking on You World Tour.
Crash Baking on You World Tour.